Hello everyone, welcome back to the Grind Spot. This is I Epic, and I'm back with another guide for the Wizard in BDO. Succession Wizard has been out for a little while now, and uh, people on my stream are asking me when you're gonna make a guide for it. So I'm gonna make one right now, and I'm, I'm gonna try to make it as fast as possible because there's a lot of information when it comes to it. So I'll try to keep it simple for you all. But enough that you know, even if you never are considered switching to the Wizard, but you don't even know where to start or how what to do, we'll cover all of that here. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to talk about is um, how is it you acquire succession. Remember, the succession, you need, there is a quest that you need to do. Make sure that you go do, talk to the Black Spirit. There will be a succession quest. Follow the quest line, finish it up. It's really easy. And then you'll be allowed to move into succession. Now, before you do that, though, there's a couple of things you want to consider. Skill points being one of them. All right, a lot of people have been suggesting that, you know, you can start with 1600 skill points. And yes, you can. You can get started. Is it going to be uh, something that's going to make you feel like, oh, yes, I can feel the difference? Like, no, I, I don't think so. I think um, I think that's a little bit misguided because if you don't have enough skill points to get probably 90% of all the succession skills max out, you're really not going to feel the wizard chime from your, coming from your awakening into succession. So my recommendation is to start at 1800. 1800 and up. I think there'll be enough skill points for you to get everything that you need. Because remember, it's not just about the succession skill points, but it's also the skill points that you're going to need in your main skills in order to acquire those. Because one of the things you need to know about succession is that I cannot just have Fireball and just click it and I'm going to have it. No. I need to make sure that Fireball over here is actually maxed out all the way to Fireball 4. So you're still going to need skill points for all of this before you can acquire that. And then... Even when you acquire that, then you got to move that up and up, and that's where the skill the skill points get drained. So think about that before you decide to move into into succession. The other thing, in my opinion, if you're not at least, I want to say between 230 to 35 AP, I wouldn't recommend you moving from Awakening because succession is not going to really feel as um, it's not going to feel that great. Your Awakening is still really strong at that point. You're not going to feel that much of a difference. And when you're grinding low, low level mobs, Awakening honestly is still the better way to go. Because we have a much larger AoE and we're able to just, you know, one shot a bunch of mobs real quick in what, in what we're doing. With Succession, it's, uh, it's more uh, compact your zone of damage. Your AoEs is a lot, are a lot smaller. So, and there is a lot more to do. So it's not as much as a chill grind as it is with the Awakening. So I wouldn't recommend you moving on to Succession until you hit about 235 AP. That's my opinion, okay? Obviously, you can do whatever you want, man. It's your game. Have fun. That's all that matters, right? So let's go down the main skills that you need and you don't need in order to move into succession, okay? Dagger, don't really need it. You can save yourself a ton of skill points if you don't mess with this one, okay? I know it's fun sometimes, but you don't really need it. You can you can, you can can live without it for a bit, okay? And that will save you a lot of skill points, okay? You definitely want your magic evasion to max out and your teleports max out. No questions. You want that. You want your shield? That's obviously you do too, because depending on where you're grinding, you're you're gonna want that in there. Mana absorption. Now, mana absorption is great to have, especially in succession, because sometimes succession can be a drain on mana. But you can get away with the first with the base one. You'll be okay. All right. Um, resurrection. We're not even gonna talk about that. Don't bother with it for now. <laughs> okay. Um. And then let's keep going now. Remember, all of these that are not light out is because they are succession skills and you have to have them. You, you cannot not have them. Okay, so not worrying about that. Okay, speed spell, you definitely want to have that max out as you can. Okay. Protected area, absolutely, we want to have it. Our heal, yes. Our lighthouse, absolutely. Uh, spellbound heart, you can get away with the first one. It, it, you don't need to have it. You'll be fine without it. Spellbound Heart. Now this is uh, Magic Lighthouse. That is something that is gonna is up in the air. You gotta do your preference here. I enjoy my Lighthouse Max Out, so I always have Max Out. But you could get away with the lower level of it to to save some skill points for succession. Okay, so there you go. And then everything else is obvious that you need. You need to have your Mind Training Max Out, Infinity Mastery skill. All of that needs to be Max Out. Um, so there it is. Those are the ones you need for the main for the main. Uh, skill tree all right so now we're going to go into the succession skills all right let's 
there are some succession skills that you can get away with not having them right away but there are some that you absolutely have to have it so let's go with the ones that you absolutely have to have that whole top row right there you won that whole top row okay i personally think you should you should get it. especially elemental palace this is our new quote-unquote e-buff <laughs> that we still have in awakening uh unfortunately you, you can only get it through a quick slot so make sure that you add it to your quick slot in order to actually cast it it's really good buff you want to have it all these other ones are very passive skills that just give improve this uh the succession wizard so make sure that you have those magic arrows i recommend you get it because a really strong one and uh, it's, it's it's good to have so I, re I will always recommend to get that uh you always want your these are the skills that you absolutely must have okay in my opinion fireball yes fireball explosion absolutely now you got the choice between the two and i'm not going to go into detail on what each one does because i don't think that's really necessary that's something that you're going to uh select on your own but you're welcome to try what you're seeing on my screen i really enjoy it on pve pvp that's a whole other story you might want to make some changes to the skills but for pve this is really wonderful okay all right so you want to have fireball we want to have fireball explosions we do want to have meteorite this is definitely something you want because it's just a massive and fast casting skill. I really love uh, Meteorite Shower Focus. It's, it's, it's great. We have the original one, which does a little bit more damage, but it's a little bit much of a slower cast. So just keep that in mind. And I enjoy my Succession Wishers to be really fast. So I, I love fast animations. Um, Prime Arrow. You really don't have to level this right away. This is not something that is absolutely necessary. You can save a lot of skill points and get this later. I'm not saying don't get it. I'm just saying you can get this later. You won't you won't have a problem, okay? We definitely want lightning and it's residual. It's something that, you know, coming from the main skills, it's just it's really good. Great stuns, I mean great damage is is really good. So you want to have that. Uh then you want to select one of these um prime lightning uh, either storm combo or you want to select a uh, uh, high voltage is either one that you want to choose going to be fine now just to give you a little a little thing on this one this one is actually really good um for uh, it does a lot of damage it's great but this one the difference is that this one actually has a little bit of a charge that has a forward guard in it a lot of people doing pvp prefer this one for that reason so it's your choice which one you prefer to use both of them are absolutely great and then we're going to have here now uh, earthquake earthquake is really good in succession i uh, i honestly think it's is a must to have on this one too um there is earthquake evade which kind of pulls you away from the mobs and then does its attack the earthquake attack which is really good it has super armor it's a great skill to have a lot of people for pvp prefer it because it gets them the hell away from you know <laughs> whatever whatever is going on at the moment it's a, it's a good it's a good one I prefer this one for because it really sucks all the mobs in for PVE and it's just it's just a great great skill a lot of good damage on it too. The other one that we have is Earth uh, Response is really good also. Now this one um, is one of those skills that you could potentially not have right away if you don't have enough skill points. I always will recommend it to have. Now you have two versions of it. You have this one that is more of a broad uh, skill. It hits a lot more targets. Okay. The one at the bottom is 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 a little bit more focused. It does a little bit more damage, but the damage is um is very narrow. So you could potentially miss the attack with this one. I, it's it's really interesting how this one. Works. So try it out. You know, play play with it. See which of the two you prefer. Okay. And then at the bottom here, um, freeze. You can wait for freeze unless you're PVPing a lot. You could potentially wait for it, and now you spend the skill points on it. Um, you do want to get Blizzard of some kind because it's just it's Blizzard. I mean, it's great. And Blizzard Domain is one of my favorites for PvE because it gives you the ability for you to cast Blizzard. And then Blizzard will keep raining down on the mobs while you continue to do other attacks on top of it. Absolutely great. We do have the other or the old school Blizzard, which is super strong too. I think a lot of people do this more for the PvP siege type of thing because it's still really good to be able to move that Blizzard around from different targets this one you cannot move it's stationary whatever you place it that's where it's going to stay raining down frigid frog this is a must you want to get this one this thing is crazy strong 
I still don't understand why this thing is so strong. <laughs> Get this. You'll love it. Uh, then we're going to talk about the awakening <laughs> sort of skills that they brought over uh, from awakening into succession. And the interesting part about this is that we got two. We got this a set of two from the witch and a set of two from the bliss from the wizard. As you can see, we got this Bolile and this Aqua Gel right here. I personally prefer Voltaic from the witch and also Equilibrium. They are they're great fast casting skills that do a lot of uh, debuffs to the mobs too and increase our accuracy rate and we do a lot more damage. Also, MP recovery is absolutely great with it too. Okay, so these are these are your options right here. You choose whichever of these that you want. Play around with them. See what, what feels better. Or you can do what I do. This is the typical setup that I've seen with a lot of wizards too when it comes to the skills. He's using this one. Hit the mobs with that first and you'll see what happens when you hit them. It's, it's, it's really good. All right. So that's it for my current setup for the skills. Before we get into combos and things like that, let's talk about add-ons. Add-ons are another very important thing when it comes to succession. Um, in my add-on setup, I prefer, because I, this is more of a PvE setup, I prefer, prefer casting speed, monster damage, and crit. Those are the things that I'm really focusing on. Uh, some people will prefer to go with um, casting speed, crit and recovery of mana and it's not bad because mana consumption is is an actual problem with with succession or so it's your choice which route you want to go but these are my add-ons you are welcome to use this and try them out see what you think about them okay earthquake we got monster damage we got critical plus 20 percent Fireball, we do the same. I always start with the Fireball because um, I like that. Not only is it going to give me the plus 25 monster damage, but the casting speed is really what I'm looking for. So Fireball is usually my first cast. So you're going to see just how quickly we cast with Succession. It's because of these add-ons that I have a lot of casting speed on them. And it works out really great, especially in PvE. Okay, Lightning, same thing. We got monster damage with casting speed. Mujimati errors, same thing. Muji ma multiple magic errors is a little slow animation, so this is something that actually helps quite a bit for it too. Same thing here. We got monster damage, but this time we got critical, okay? Because critical hit rate is it, it makes a big difference. And then on the bottom, because I do like to have some extra uh, MP recovery, because I already go through a lot of pots. This actually helps quite a bit. Put some. Uh, some recovery MP, but you can choose something else that you that you like. Again, these are all preference pres personal preferences. You need to go in and try this out, see which ones you prefer for you. But this is my own personal setup. You're welcome to use it also. All right, now we got our skill points. We have our add-ons on. We got. We're ready to go. We're ready to start actually using Successions. One of the things you can do with Succession is you can actually combo chain all the skills. Okay, so for example, I can do Lightning and then Lightning Residue, right? With the different attacks. So SF and then right mouse button and do that, right? And then I can go and do the other ones, you know, like this as the second attack. The great thing that you can do with Succession is that it'll actually group uh, a bunch of skills into one by just holding the right mouse button. It sounds crazy, but it's so true and it's great. Okay, so here we go. So if I start with my lightning and then I hold my right mouse button, it'll chain about three more skills right off the bat. Now, keep in mind, doing this is a lot slower casting than if you actually cast things yourself with the combos. But when you're grinding, with mobs and whatever sometimes you want to chill when you grind you don't want to try so hard this is a great way to go about it so let's start with that we're going to start with lining and then i'm going to hold the right mouse button and just watch what happens there you go that was about three to four different skills that got done by me just holding the right mouse button and that's all, and the way that it works, it looks like it works by grouping a set of skills. So those were all the lightning skills um, put together into it. Now, fire and earthquake skills are done in a separate way. So, for example, let's say now I'm going to go into 
uh, Earthquake, and then I'm going to hold the right mouse button. You're going to see that it's going to do all of those skills. So let's go into Earthquake. Hold the right mouse button. See that? It just, it just changed those skills. Same thing with Fire. A Fireball, if I hold a Fireball, it should go into a Meteorite right after it. So we do this. And there you go. And... And right into fireball again but the way that i do it is I actually do a little bit of a combination between all of them okay this is my own combo that i do um it's just what i do guys don't take what i do as the law here in this one you play around with what you want or watch other people what they do and then see if it works out for you the first thing i do is i start with fireball 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 explosion and then i go into voltaic and then from voltaic i go into lightning and then after lightning, I go into earthquake, my lightning combos, and I go into earthquake combos. And then I finish off with uh, with either meteorite or blister. Everything is situational, right? When you're grinding. So just keep that in mind. But here's one of the combos that I do. Let's, let's give it a shot. There you go. The reason why some of them I cast and some of them I chain is because Voltaic is really slow if you don't cast it yourself right after when you're doing a chain of attack. This is Voltaic without anything prior to it to cast. You see that up raise of the arm and then it coming down? It's a lot slower. Okay. Then if I were to do Fireball and then Voltaic, you'll see how quickly Voltaic casts instant bam to the ground done so those are the things to keep in mind Voltaire and equilibrium cast faster if you cast something prior to them okay so what i like to do is I like to put Voltaic and equilibrium in one so i will do fireball Voltaic, and then equilibrium and i will do them an actual combo so they will cast super fast and then i'll do my lightning combo just i hold the right mouse button you know because those those are fine and the damage you deal is going to bring the health down so quick so it's very good to do it this way. Now, another way that you can go about it is, is uh, if you're fighting like a much stronger mob, you first do Blizzard. As you all know, I have Blizzard Domain. And watch what happens. We're going to throw Blizzard Domain. And then right after, we're going to do all the rest of our combo. And, right, you won't be able to see here because we're not doing any mods. But you'll see just how insane it gets with all the combos and attacks that gold get, get thrown into a mob at once it's just absolutely insane so let's let's take a look okay here we go blizzard and then as that's cast here we go all of that while blizzard was still raining down on the mob that mob cannot even move it's absolutely insane okay so i i really enjoy uh the wizard succession it is really strong in my opinion awakening q is a buff on the wizard i really feel that sometimes uh succession can be very draining with all the combos and all the stuff that you do when you're grinding for hours and hours and hours and i really would like to just chill with the awakenings because there's a lot more chill being an awakening but unfortunately awakening just does not feel as strong as succession does even when i got my pen dandy i thought oh man i want to be able to actually go and and chill grind and try to you know do some a couple hours without trying so hard you know with succession and everything but he felt really weak compared to succession still um it's not bad i'm not saying i can't do it without it with, with awakening i'm just saying it's just not as strong and sometimes when you're going really hard trying to get all the especially when i was trying to get my tech distortion i was just grinding like crazy i wanted to be as efficient as possible i had to stay with succession in order to make that that, that happen so it is your choice do whatever you enjoy in the game that is the most important thing guys don't let everybody tell you that this is the only way to go about it you make your choice because you're the one that's got to have fun for the hours and hours that you do in the grind in this game if you're not having fun what's the point right i mean it's, it's, it's just no point so i hope you guys enjoyed this guide thank you very much for watching guys and if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video and i'll see you guys in the next one